Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at the Wolf Howl Fury Visor. Mustache is itchy. <laughs> the Wolf Howl Fury Visor is of course made only for barbarians and it is very specifically a barbarian only item. So do keep that in mind. Um, now the, before we get started on this I do want to point out that this particular Wolf Howl is a perfect Wolf Howl. Um, this is not something that you are likely to see in game. Um, when I show you a perfect item, a lot of the times the variables are very small, and finding that perfect item is extremely easy. Um, however, in this particular case with the Wolf Howl um, helmet, it is not easy to find this particular item in its perfect state. And as we go over this item and I talk about the variables on this item, you will start to understand why it is very difficult to find this in its perfect state. Um, first off, we have a defense of 377, which does vary from 332 to 377, so already a variable there. We've got a required strength of 129 and a level of 79. So if you're going to use this helmet specifically to build a Barbarian, uh, please note that you cannot actually put this on your Barbarian until you get to level 79, so, uh, so it's kind of silly um, to, you know, to build your character around this item. We also have uh, plus three to war cries, which varies from plus two to plus three, so it does have one variable on the war cries. And, uh, and as, I, as we go further into this item, you will understand why the war cries are so important on this particular piece of equipment. Um, we also have plus six to feral rage, which does vary from plus three to plus six. We have plus six to lycanthropy, which does vary from plus three to plus six. We have plus six to werewolf, which does vary from plus three to plus six. Uh, we also have enhanced defense, which varies from 120% to 150%. Again, another variable. Um, we have 8 to 15 of strength on it. So as you can see, minus 15. We have 8 to 15 dexterity and 8 to 15 vitality. Literally almost every single thing on this item varies, uh, including the defense, the the skills, uh, the just, just the stats, all of it. The entire helmet is just a bucket of variables, and the chances of you ever finding a perfect one of these is slim to none. Uh, we also have a level 15 summon dire wolf, which is very interesting uh, because we will be able to summon some little wolvies to come help us out. And uh, maybe when the patch comes out that improves these guys, they will be a little more useful. Um, but as you can see right now, we can summon uh, three dire wolves, which are pretty nice. Um, the dire wolves also have a secondary effect. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but the secondary effect is that they eat corpses. So when you kill something uh, with a di uh, dire wolf, you are going to get a really nice uh, bonus effect, essentially, of, uh, of them you know, eating up the corpses, which is pretty cool. Now, um, this armor, or this helmet, is specifically made around the idea of becoming a werewolf. So, if you cannot tell, um, I now have the werewolf skill, and with the werewolf skill, I can now transform. The only downside to this is that you cannot use any of the barbarian abilities while in the werewolf form. The only ability that you will be able to use from this time forward while you are shapeshifted is the Feral Rage ability. Um, the Feral Rage ability is, uh, is, is the werewolf ability, obviously, and even then it's not going to be a relatively high one. So how would you build this character if you were going to actually use the Wolf Howl Fury Visor in your travels? Well, you're going to have to, to beef yourself up first. So generally what you want to do with this particular type of build is you're going to build Shout, Battle Orders, and Battle Command, and you're going to pretty much just max them out. Um, you're also going to max out your um, appropriate synergy uh, in the battle, the combat mastery tree. So you're going to have probably, uh, in, this, in this particular case, I'm going to be a mace mastery. Um, I'm probably also going to spend most of my points on iron skin and natural resistance, as well as uh, increased speed. So this type of build is going to revolve around... Um, anything that I can do to increase myself passively while I'm in this form. Um, and so once I have all those things, once I've buffed myself, once I've buffed my little wolves, um, then I'm going to transform into the werewolf form and run around and start using my Feral Rage ability. And, uh, and as you can see, it's not actually awful. Um, you can actually do some pretty significant damage this way. And if you have your character built properly, which I don't, as you can see, I don't even have rings on my character, um, and I'm using half of an IK set, 
um, you can get some pretty interesting damage here. Your wolves can act as a, uh, a sort of a a hedge against your uh, your attacks, and uh, of course you're going to have to repair the wolves. But uh, but it's a really interesting way that you can literally build a barbarian that is a werewolf. And as you can see, there are the uh, the dire wolves are now eating the corpses. Um, which is what we want because it beefs up their damage by double. But in this particular case, we're not really so much worried about the uh, the wolves dishing out damage as we are just simply them acting as a uh, relatively nice, just, just, uh, what was it called? Uh, God bless it, I lost my, my train of thought. A uh, distraction. They're, they're a very nice, healthy distraction, which is exactly what we would want them for. Um, obviously, since we're not actually building a summoning druid, we wouldn't actually expect them to dish out a large amount of damage. And with 18 charges, we'll be able to summon three wolves fairly often. And if you're building, specifically, as you should with this particular helmet, um, maximum battle orders, um, you're probably going to have a lot higher battle orders than what I have. So I only have level 24, but most people who would do this particular build would probably have a battle orders helmet they would probably have a um, a battle hoarders set of weapons, battle orders, um, you know, charms in here, so that when they cast their battle orders, it would be the highest level of battle orders that they could possibly cast. And that way, their defense would be incredibly high, their health would be incredibly high, their mana would be incredibly high, and uh, and their plus to skills would last for a really long time because the the higher the skill, the longer the duration. And um, it's an interesting uh, concept for a character, and uh, and it's literally the ability to shapeshift a barbarian into a werewolf. Um, it could be used as camouflage, even. Uh, imagine you're PvPing, and uh, and you deliberately put this helmet on, shapeshift into a werewolf before you get out there, um, and then as soon as you get out there, you uh, you shapeshift out of your werewolf form, and then immediately start whirlwinding. And it could be kind of funny as a as just like a, a, a whoa, whoa 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 I thought you were a, a druid, you know, kind of a silliness. Um, of course, you know when you look at the uh, character screen, I think it does actually say what class you are, so. Interesting, nonetheless, though. Um, this particular uh, helmet is is just the weirdest kind of helmet, though, because it opens up an entirely new build for a character that never had that build before. Um, the idea of building a character, uh, your, your barbarian, around this helmet literally allows you to go, well, hmm, how can I beef up the werewolf form using my barbarian skills and then you start to uh, you start to piece it together you're like okay well i'm definitely gonna want maximum mastery i'm definitely gonna want uh you know maximum natural resistance uh, maximum iron skin and if you think about it it's 20 40 60 right um 80 for for whatever mastery you choose so 80 points um and then you've got um 20, 30, so you got 35 points left to spread between skills. So uh, I, I would probably, if it were me, I would probably just go ahead and max Iron Skin and uh, Natural Resistance um, as, as high as I could get them um, and leave um, increased speed and increased stamina at their uh, at their lower levels. And, uh, and that way I would have really nice resistances, I'd have really nice Iron Skin, and I could focus my equipment on other things because um, you got to think you've got you've got all this equipment you can use to assist this build as well so plus the skills to help out your war cries and then when you're actually in combat and you're fighting um, you know you could be using uh, uh, other things like uh, you know you could be using uh, a lot of crushing blow deadly strike uh, you could be using uh, you know open wounds and and, and, uh, and just interesting things like that to really assist the build as much as possible um, now, of course, if you find a really crappy wolf uh, howl, you're probably not going to hold on to it. Um, like if it's only plus two war cries, and all the like the feral rage, the lycanthropy, and the werewolf are all like level three, and uh, the stats are really bad, um, you might want to hold off and, and see if you can find a better one. Um, if you do find an ethereal one of this, obviously it's going to have to be uh, zodded if you actually want to use it on your barbarian. Um, and the only real benefit to the fact that it uh, would be ethereal is a little bit extra defense. Um, this particular item is a, I want to say it's an elite item. I'm fairly certain it's elite. Yes, it's an elite, elite helmet, so it is not upgradable. And um, 
That is, that is pretty much the best it can be. And as you can see there, if I take off the helmet, I lose my wolvies, which is very sad. My poor little wolvies are gone. Uh, but I don't lose my shapeshifting form. So <laughs> I have to actually put it back on and shapeshift out or wait for the duration to end. Um, the graphic is is, uh, is kind of the nice little jawbone visor there, so it does look kind of cool. And, um, I mean, if you're planning to make yourself a wolf howl barbarian, then, you know, more power to you. Get yourself a really nice wolf howl visor. Uh, I don't think they're really that hard to get your hands on. When people find them, they don't generally tend to use them because of the restrictive nature of the build. Um, because they usually have something else in mind. Like, it's not something you can just plop on a barbarian and use to its great effectiveness. You have to actually have a barbarian that's kind of built around it. Um, obviously you can socket it, so you could uh, throw some resistances in here, which it is lacking. Um, or you could throw an IAS jewel in here, uh, but that's obviously not going to help your, your werewolf form. Uh, so probably <laughs> maybe some uh, some ED, some 40% ED or something like that, or, or like I said, Umrune for resistances, or, uh, or maybe... Um, maybe some plus min or plus max damage. I actually found a really nice uh, uh, jewel a little while ago that had like really nice plus min damage on it, which could come in handy. Hello. Oh, there's really not much more to talk about with this item, is there? It's, uh, I mean, it's a helmet that turns your barbarian into a wolf. Just right into a wolf. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And if you're interested in finding this item, I do have a, a link in the description for my Magic Find video. I'm going to take a look at that. Um, that should give you all the information you need to know on how to find it. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.